السلام عليكم ورحمة الله Yes, student. Today we are going to explain the past tense, the second category or the second tense in English. In the previous lecture, we have tackled the present tense with its three basic, basic categories, the limited and the timeless, then the instantaneous, which is an X between uh, limited or present for, uh, simple present and progressive present. What is the past? Past tense, it somehow seems to be more complicated than the present. Why? Look at these, these lines. Keep in mind, this is, this is the present in which we are in. Then you have the past. The action started in the past, so the starting point is in the past. Whether complete or incomplete, <clears throat> the action or the event started in the past, regardless of the ending point of that action. So, here, if the action is started in a particular point or the action taking place at a particular point of time, of time, so here, we are here means simply when I say I played football yesterday the action started in the past ended in the past at a particular point of time so the action again it is complete action means the simple past simple past but if you look at 2a in which the action started in past and it perfects its meaning up to the present, like standing up to the present, stretching up to the present. The meaning of the action, the, the, the effect of the action is still in the present. So it is called present perfect. Why it is a present perfect? Because it perfects its meaning in the present. Though it started in past, but it uh, perfects its meaning in present. So I can express or describe an action started in past and the effect of which is still in present by the present perfect. When I say I have written a poem, I, I, I have written a letter, I have played football. What about this one, in which the action started in past, in a particular, in a definite point in past, and ended in a definite point in past? يعني سموها from to من إلى لغاية. When I say, for example, I walked, I walked, or I walked from, for example, from. 12 o'clock to uh, 5 o'clock. And that is the starting point, we hit 12 o'clock, and the ending point, we hit 5 o'clock. What else? The last meaning or the last line here, which is what the action is incomplete. The action was in a progress in past. So you see here, these dots means the action was incomplete. I, it can be expressed by the past progressive. I was walking. I was eating. I was having my lunch, for example. So these are the most important thing concerning how to express an action started in past. Either by the simple past in which the action has been taken place in a particular point of time, then I have another type in which I have a definite time, from to. Then I have 
the most confusing one I, can, I, I can't judge your present perfect which you started in past but its effect will start was still in a present that's why I called present perfect the last thing the past of progressive and all of these things will be discussed and there will be some sort of comparison between each type of them so again the habits we have know that the habits generally is expressed by what? By the simple presence. I always go to school by car. I usually go to university by bus. You see, have the habits. But again, we have said before, it, I can express my habit by using uh, the uh, present progressive. But there is some sort of difference between uh, present simple and the present progressive in expressing habitual activity. Again, the habitual activity can be expressed with the simple past. You see, he always wrote with a special pen. Always. So, but this time, this is unlike the simple of present. What is, what is the difference between it expressing habitual activity in past and expressing habitual activity in a present? How it can be differentiated? Let us see. <coughs> Means I can substitute. Can substitute always right? with one of these, either by used to or by with, here less coming, used to or less commonly with. Yani, instead of saying always write, or sorry, always wrote, always wrote, I can use of what? Used to. He used to write with a special pen. He would write with a special pen. This means what? Expressing habitual activity in past. So, move to the note, it is very important. Means having time or time indicates for non time or for uh, tense indicating non time. What does this mean? This means that. For example, I express, I, I present what I present, or the sentence is in the present, but the time indication is in past. Like, at that time, in comes a policeman. At that moment, sorry, in comes a policeman. When you see the, the adverb at that moment, at that moment, so absolutely it is in past but you will shocked or you will uh, amazed by using comes in the present form means it is something not formal it is something not normal not ordinary called historic present historic present means Past time can be expressed with the present tense forms. It is fairly common in the wide narrative. So it is, it is used in narrative or literary styles. But has no such journalistic overtones with verbs of communicating. Look at these verbs. You see, John tells, tells the present that there was an accident last night. There was, there was, it is Past, past. Last night again, it is past. But if you look at this verb, this verb of communication, no, it is in the present. So this is the idea. Again, using the past forms of the verbs, it is to express more politeness. Past tense forms need not refer to past time. This is very important. Past. Tense forms need not to refer to past time. Did you want to see me? If you, if I want to compare, did you want to see me? With do you want to see me? 
Both are very present, by the way, in the present tense. But the form of this, it is past. The form of this, present. Did, using did in such a form, it is more politer than do you want to see me? Did you want to see me? The form is past. The, the time is not past. The time indication is not past. But why we use it to show more politeness? Do you want to see me? It past, the form, and the tense, the time and tense, both of them are in present. But it is more, it is impolite way to expressing or in saying such a word, or such a sentence, sorry. Now let us compare between the past, simple, and the perfective. Let us compare between these two sentences. John lived in Paris for 10 years, which is as a form, it is past simple. As a form, it is past simple. And John has lived in Paris for 10 years. As a form, it is a present perfect. With the past simple, it is what? It started, ended in past, in a particular point of time in past. But in the past, present perfect, it started in past and stretching up to present. So it is what uh, the effect of which is still in present. Having such a sentence, main tells that the period of residence has come to an, an end, and he is long, 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 no longer in Paris, or maybe he's dead. You see? But John has lived in Paris, is still John is alive, but permits the president in Paris to extend either to the present, the usual interpretation, or to some unspecified date in the past. Again, let us compare between these two sentences. Fourth generation, Hadi, Nepal has produced brilliant mountaineers. Here in the present perfect, my question is, does Nepal have that position to produce more brilliant mountaineers? Absolutely, yes. Absolutely, yes. Even if a long time may have elapsed since the last was produced. This is the idea. So, for example, or may take long time to have the last pregnant worries, but still it has the the, the, the position to produce that brilliant mountainers. But in contrast to this one, in the past simple, Sparta produced or was producing fearless warrior. No, here the action is complete, for example, here, and uh, it has lost, I mean Sparta, it has lost its position to produce fearless warriors. The action is uh, finished. Started and ended in past. So this is, these are the main differences between how to use uh, past simple and the present perfect. And there will be some sort of confusing in using the, uh, the adverbials. That's why there was some sort of differentiation between adverbials that are used only with simple past we will refer to a period now past, like yesterday, throughout, January, on Tuesday. They are only used for in the past simple. In contrast to these adverbs, since last January, up to now, lately, already, they are worked only or they are used only to a period beginning in the past and stretching up to the present in the present perfect. But we have other, we have other adverbs that are used with both, like today, this month, for an hour. So my choice will depend on what? Depending on my action, whether my action. So for example, when I worked today, I worked today. Maybe my action or the working, my working started in the evening for example, in morning, early morning, and ended in the morning, and the action is complete. So still today, the action complete, no effect, no result up to the present. 
But when I say I have work today, so as a result, I have something in, in present. So I, absolutely, I will have, I have work today. Because I have the, the effect, the result in present. Leave this note. Yeah. What does it mean by indefinite and definite? Indefinite and definite. Generally speaking, they are two adjectives describe the state of past simple and the present perfect. How? Means that the period or what is related to the past simple, it is all definite. It is all noun. Because the action, the starting point, the ending point, they are all noun. So, when I say he says that he saw the meteor last night that everyone know is so excited about. He saw that, the Shufun, last night that everyone, he saw the. So here in the past simple means the period is definitely emerging. Definiteness is marked by the simple past. Hatta bin noun phrase, it will have the definite article there. But if I want to compare it with this one. He says that he has seen a meter at some time. Some time. He knows some time will be in between. Between earliest memory and the present. That's why it is indefinite. Again, as the noun phrase, I use a meter as a, the indefinite article. If you, if you want to compare these two sentences, again, it is in the present perfect and the second one with the past perfect, is past simple. You see, it is with indefinite period of time, maybe at some time, that's why you see, in the had an article, the, the period of time is indefinite. In contrast to this one, no, the period is definite, absolutely, definitely it is definite.